Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 54 of the Road to the Top series. I am Toasty FM, and since our last episode yesterday, um, we've struggled a little bit. We've come a little bit down to earth. Um, as you know, we have we're gonna have we had two games against some tough opponents, and uh, we'll look those in a second. But because of the results that we've had, we've fallen down into the relegation zone, tied with Morad Inch. And Boavista on points. Uh, Bill Nance, we play today. So it's going to be a, a very important game for us today. Now, to see how we got there, we have to look at the results. Now, obviously, you guys saw us uh, lose last... Uh, did, did we? I don't know. Actually, yeah, you guys saw us uh, lose to Gandomar. And... Did we see the I don't even remember. Uh, but yeah, we lost. Anyway, we lost. We've lost four straight. That's an important thing. Uh, we've lost uh, against Porto and Mayfica. Now both of those results uh, were good performances, I think, by us. Um, you know, I can't be too angry about them. Um, you know, good results. But at the end of the day, results. Good res. I mean, good. Good performances don't mean results. And. In this game, we tied it up early. They scored early. And we were holding it down pretty well. Uh, they ended up scoring at the end of the game, which is unfortunate. And then, in each of these games against Porto Mefica, uh, Pared had goal of the season, goal of the series contenders. So we're going to look at both of those. But yeah, first game, um, we lost one. Uh, we both lost both games, one, uh, one to two. Um, so, I mean, pretty disappointing considering, because I thought, I thought we could do better. Um, this one's without a counterattack, uh, and basically just, a uh, individual meets one man, beats a second, beats the goalkeeper, um, you know, just a, uh, you know, a Messi-esque, uh, uh, kind of run through the middle, beats a couple men, very well done. In the, uh, in this one against McFika, it was more... Uh, for the pure strike, this one um, was to give us a shout. They were already up 2-0. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, my bad. Um, so this one kind of put us within a, within a shout of Benfica. But it was always going to be tough for us, um, no matter what. And to give up two goals in the first half, we made it very hard for ourselves. Let's look, let's look at Fred's goal. Lidka here. Going down the side, Alexander Perez, and Perez just from like 30 yards out, uh, 25, 30 yards out, scores a, a belter of a goal, um, unstoppable by anybody uh, who could have been within the sticks. Very well done. And then we came, came back against Pasht Freire, and Pasht, um, are a solid team, mid-table team, and we were the, I think we were a better team. Again, one of those results, um, one of those games where we, Probably played better, and they just got the results. So, I mean, we're we're down in the relegation zone, but I think it's it's I don't think it's for us being bad or anything. I think it's just a matter of you know a tough tough run of games. Um, you know, not scoring as many goals maybe we should. I mean, it's always going to be score hard to score two uh, two goals against Porto and Mefica. You have to keep them at at one or or, 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 or nil. Um, you know, you have to keep them off the score sheet, or it's going to be always going to be very tough. You're not going to get two or three past them very often. So, um, so yeah, so we have we have a game against the Villains today. We have everything to play for. Um. And so we need it. It'd be nice to get a result today. So let's look at uh, uh, the lineup for uh, our game today. All right, guys. So this is gonna be our lineup today. Uh, pretty typical from us. Um, Gabriel Almeida and our signing is up there. Marcel Silva is up there. Kinti is gonna be playing on the left today. Uh, trying him out. Um, he can play there. He we we I signed him as a center back, but maybe uh, maybe he'll perform better at, at left back. Uh, we'll see. Um, he, I mean, he's a good player. I need to find a place for him in the team. Um, you know, has not been absolutely great, but um, yeah, I think I think it's I think he's worth a a little bit of patience. So, um, so let's get into the game here. 
Um, against Bill Nance, like I said, uh, we're at home today, which is nice. Um, we're playing with our more defensive formation. Uh, you know, obviously, like I said, we're in a bad run of form here. Um, but I think, I think, um, we can change our fortunes. Um, after our result last week, I, I gave the team a, t uh, a talk and, uh, we had a little meeting and I said, Hey, you know, we can, you know, pull ourselves up if we, you know, if we keep working hard and they seem to agree. Uh, so, so the team's on good morale despite our, our losses, uh, in recently. So, and even with a, with a, a tie, with a nil-nil draw or something, we'd still move up out of the relegation zone with more inch, uh, not playing yet. But, um, I think a win would be excellent, uh, just because it is kind of tight down there. Um, it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna be, like, about a five-team race for those two spots. Um, it looks like Huiwav. uh, it looks like there's that, uh, Vitoria, Gondomar, Hiwav, group right in front of those top bottom five. But then it's Ashuril, Belen, Stubel, uh, us, Moreirense, Aroca. Those all teams look like they could, if they have a bad, uh, uh, you know, it depends on the form down the, down the end of the season. They could they could drop. So, um, Belen, uh, you know, the team from Lisbon. One of the uh, other than the big three, only two, one of only two other teams. That have won uh, the first division title. Uh, I believe they won it in the seven, 60s or 70s. Oh, man. Was he offside? He looks offside. Uh, we go down 1-0 uh, here. Ball in here. I He had to be offside. There's no way he was he was onside behind our last player. Um, but yeah, so them and uh, Boavista are one of the are the only teams that have won it outside uh, Porto Sporting and Benfica, um, and they both recently found themselves in uh, the lower divisions. I think Belenenses finished spent a few years in the in the second division. Uh, Boavista due to uh, financial stuff or our referee stuff uh went down but they want like i said earlier in the, in the series they won their their appeal in court and they ended up uh coming back in the first division um so and hopefully we can i mean young is a is one of those teams that's been in the first division for a long time um kind of found themselves out of it in the last couple years but we can hopefully bring them back into it now we have to Put together a better performance. Our attacker's not doing well. Um, the likes of Litka and uh, Pared are not doing it for us today. We're taking those guys out. Especially Pared, uh, who's taking the, the, band, the armband today. Um, yeah, we need to do better. We need a, a better result from, uh, from this team. Um... We need to get back into this game. Uh, about 20 minutes left, uh, give or take. Um, we're definitely coming back into the. Why? Am, why are we still in this in this formation? That's probably my bad. I thought I changed it at the end of the first half, but I guess it didn't. Um, I guess it didn't change your time. Uh, we're controlling the possession big time. Uh, let's exploit the right. That seems to work for us. Exploit the right. Go on attacking. Um, that seems to work for us pretty well when we're cha when we're chasing the game. Um, you know, because we do have those right wingers that have, um, you know, the pace to get by a man. Uh, so, um, you know, with Devoe on the left now, it's going to be Reina's, Reina's job. Um, see if he could uh, perform well for his, his new team. Um, we're not creating anything. Uh, we have to get a little bit more creative uh, for sure. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Um, let's put him on attack. Attack. Let's bring Akabi Alameda back into the hole a little bit. Um, full back on attack. Full back on attack. We have to we have to go after this game. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, we might pump the ball into the box a little bit. Um, hopefully we can get a knockdown. Uh, pump ball into the box. 
we're definitely going after it now, guys. Um, you know, I'm not the end of the world result, but uh, disappointing for sure if we don't, if we're not, we're not to, um, you know, if we're not to, able to score down here at the end. Um, Look like Jambour's uh, taking a knock. Uh, we might bring Vander Hayden on for him. And that's a mirror lap sub. It looks like we have a highlight here. Barbaza, Taylor. Uh, we, then we might get exposed here on the counter. That's uh, going to be Castro's job. It looks like he has no 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 help, so that's good uh, for us. Um, Barbaza, uh, Jambor, uh, Quintilla, Reina, and Reina scores. Reina scores. Exactly what I wanted. Cancel pending changes. Did not do anything I said. Uh, we need to go back to our... Um, Let's change this back so we don't get exposed. Um, support. Support. Let's keep Gabriel Almeida on support still. Um, automatic. Automatic. Instructions. Stuff on the box. Work ball in the box. Uh, we can still work. Don't look for the lap. Our team possession. Alright, perfect. Um, that's a big goal for us. Um, and the. Uh, in terms of the relegation battle, uh, for sure, uh, we definitely needed that. Great ball in by Quintilla. Gave him the start on the end left back today. Uh, and a couple couple players that I, I needed to perform today have done that um, on that play. Quintilla on the left, Reina the sub on the right. And they connect for a very important goal. Um, and we just need to get through this... Uh, through these uh, injury time. Looks Taylor throw in and we get the point uh, to pull us out of the relegation zone. Uh, very well. Kind of unfortunate, I would think. Um, you know, they played well once we went, you know, on, on full on attack. Uh, we still have to look at Moira Inch because they still have a game in hand. Um, but let's get into the lineup, uh, into the uh, schedule for next episode. All right, guys. So, uh. Like I said, a very important result, uh, but, you know, it doesn't stop there. We have uh, Stubel uh, next week, which is another team that's right next to, uh, ne next to us in the in the table. Another team that's at risk of, of falling into the drop zone. Uh, Roca, who are in last place. Two uh, very important games uh, that are sandwiching a very, very uh, big game against Sporting, who... Um, well, I know it would be a very tough result. Um, Shavsh. Uh, so we're going to come back against Shavsh. Um, so we're going to do these four. Then three. And then three. And we'll be done with the season. Which um, obviously the last couple seasons in lower divisions take longer because of the length of the... I mean, that third division took forever, it seemed like, to get through a season. With all the stages and stuff like that, and what was it? There's 20 teams in that in that second division, so very tough. Now, you know, now we have we have to keep playing, guys. We have to keep um, you know fighting for results. Uh, these games are going to be very tough down the stretch, and we're going to need every point we can get. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow, and take care of yourselves.